Lawmakers in the Pennsylvania House focused on veterans' issues as they ended their legislative session. They overwhelmingly supported a package of bills that included a measure to recognize veterans with special designations on their driver's licenses. With this card, they'd be able to proceed to any VA hospital in the state and apply for benefits available through the federal government or, as many merchants in my area do, who are very supportive of our veterans, they will offer discounts and bonuses. The House enthusiastically supported several vet-related bills coming from the Senate. One would encourage state agencies to award a certain amount of contracts to veteran-owned small businesses. What that does, it sets a goal of 3% of all state contracts will be let out to veteran-owned businesses. And, and that's been, that bill's been around here probably for, I would say, 10, 15 years trying to get that done. Under the bill, the Department of General Services would also supply valuable contact and training information to veteran-owned businesses to help them bid for contracts with private sector companies as well. New state funding for veterans service organizations will be available through the Pennsylvania Veterans Trust Fund created by Senate Bill 1531. Money in the fund will come from proceeds from sales of a special Honor Our Veterans license plate and contributions from a voluntary $3 checkoff from driver license and vehicle registration renewals. Finally, the House approved the Uniform Military and Overseas Voters Act, which will improve and streamline the process of absentee voting for uniformed and overseas Pennsylvanians. This whole General Assembly recognizes the sacrifices that members of our National Guard and, and our entire uh, military community have made over the past 10 years since we've gone to war. This war on terror has cost us um, a lot and we want to say just like the GI Bill was enacted after World War II, this is our way of saying thank you to the veterans of Pennsylvania and making sure that they have everything that they need when they come home to kind of go on with their lives. Each of these bills have been signed into law by the governor.